This is a video on adding and subtracting rational expressions. Uh, first, let's go over the steps to add and subtract rational expressions. So the first thing you want to do when you're, fact, when you're looking at a rational expression uh, is factor the denominator completely. All right, so you want to factor each denominator in each expression that we're adding or subtracting completely. Once you've done that, the next step is to determine the least common denominator for all fractions in the expression. So we're looking for the LCD for all fractions that appear. Uh, our third step would be to rewrite each fraction using the LCD as a new denominator. All right, so it's a rewrite step. You want to change each fraction into a fraction or an equivalent fraction that has the same common denominator. Step four, you want to add or subtract uh, your fractions as normal, which means add or subtract straight through the numerators and keeping the denominator piece the same as, in, as the uh, common denominator. Lastly, you want to simplify if possible. Let's take a look at an example. So for this first one, we want to add 2m plus 9 over m minus 5 plus 4 over m squared minus 3m minus 10. And our first step, remember, is to factor each denominator completely. Uh, for the first fraction, the m minus 5, we don't have to factor that at all because it's already in its most simplified form. Uh, for the second fraction, the denominator here, m squared minus 3m minus 10, we want to factor into two factors that have m at the beginning because we need m squared, so m times m gives us the m squared. Remember, we need things that multiply to a negative 10. And they also have to add to a negative 3. Those are the numbers we need. And the numbers that do this are a negative 5 and a positive 2. Right? Negative 5 times 2 gives you negative 10. Negative 5 plus 2 gives you negative 3. Uh, once I've done this, I want to find a common denominator. So we're looking for an LCD. All right? And the least common denominator here. Uh, between m minus 5 and m minus 5 times m plus 2 is really going to be m minus 5 times m plus 2. All right, so if you have a factor that appears in one denominator but not the other, it needs to be included there. Uh, if m minus 5 shows up in both denominators, you really want to take you know, the highest power of that that you see, which in this case is just m minus 5. So we have m minus 5 times m plus 2, that's a common denominator. Now we want to rewrite each fraction. All right, so I'm going to do the rewrite step down here. I want to rewrite the 2m plus 9 over m minus 5 as something over m minus 5 times m plus 2. And when you really look at this, what you really want to say to yourself is, what did I multiply m minus 5 by in the denominator to get to m minus 5 times m plus 2? Well, you multiplied by m plus 2 down here. So whatever you did in the denominator, you got to do in the numerator. So I'm going to multiply by m plus 2 up here. So you're going to have 2m plus 9 times m plus 2, which we can actually evaluate by foiling. So if I foil this, all right, we're going to have 2m times m, which makes this 2m squared. 2m times a positive 2 makes this plus 4m. Plus 9 times m makes this plus 9m. And a plus 9 times a positive 2 makes this plus 18. So that's how I'd rewrite the first fraction. The second fraction already has the common denominator of m minus 5 times m plus 2, so we don't have to rewrite the second fraction. So really, this piece up here is going to be equal to whatever we just found in that first piece for 2m plus 9 times m plus 2, which is 2m squared plus 4m plus 9m plus 18, all over m minus 5 times m plus 2. Plus, all right, so that replaced that first fraction. Now the second fraction here, all right, is going to stay the same. So plus, it's going to be 4 over m minus 5 times m plus 2. We still want to show it in the factored form. And then when you add and subtract fractions, you add and subtract through the numerator, you leave the denominator the same. So taking this to the next page, I'm just going to combine like terms here. So 2m squared doesn't have a like term, so it'll stay 2m squared. A plus 4m plus 9m is going to be a plus 13m. And then plus 18 plus the 4 over here will give us plus 22. So this will be equal to 2m squared plus 13m plus 22 all over m minus 5 times m plus 2. And then we've added them together. Once you're at this step, you should see if you can factor further, but 2m squared plus 13m plus 22 uh, it doesn't factor nicely, so you won't be able to cancel with anything else in the denominator. So that's it. That'd be your final answer. All right, let's take a look at another one. 
All right, so for this next example, uh, we have to subtract 3x over x squared plus 4x minus 12 minus 5 over x squared plus 9x minus 22. Remember, our first step when we're looking at uh, rational expressions, when we want to add or subtract them, is to factor the denominators completely. So in each of these now, I want to factor the denominator. And to factor the first one, all right, I'm just going to rewrite the whole fraction. We have 3x over, now x squared plus 4x minus 12. We want two sets of parentheses here. X squared tells us that in front of each one we need an X. And then I need numbers that multiply to a negative 12 and also add to 4. So numbers that do that are a positive 6 and a negative 2, right? 6 times negative 2 is a negative 12. Uh, 6 plus a negative 2 is 4. All right? Minus, and now here rewriting the second fraction, I've got 5 over we got x squared plus 9x minus 22. If I want to factor that, all right, we need two sets of parentheses. And I need x in front of each one because when I multiply these together, I need an x squared. And I want numbers that multiply to a negative 22. And they also have to add to 9. So numbers that multiply to a negative 22 and add to a positive 9 are going to be a positive 11 and a negative 2. Once I've factored the denominators, now I'm looking for an LCD for the entire problem, right? For all the fractions that appear. And if I'm looking for a least common denominator here, uh, really you want to have every factor that appears represented. Uh, so I have an x plus 6 in this first fraction as part of the denominator, uh, but I don't have an x plus 6 in the second fraction, so I definitely need x plus 6. And then uh, I have an x minus 2 here in the first fraction, and I also have an x minus 2 in the second fraction, so I need x minus 2. And then for the second fraction, I have an x plus 11. Well, I don't have that in the first fraction, so I need to include that as part of my common denominator, x plus 11, because I need each fraction to have that. And we already took care of x minus 2, and we took care of it here. All right, so if it shows up in one fraction, it has to be part of the LCD. That's really what it comes down to. And now we want to rewrite. And I'm going to rewrite each fraction with a denominator that's the LCD. So for this first fraction, the 3x over x plus 6 times x minus 2. The new denominator, we want to be x plus 6 times x minus 2 times x plus 11, right? Exactly what we found for our LCD. And the numerator was 3x before. So what I really want to say to myself is, what did I multiply this original denominator, the x plus 6 times x minus 2, by to get this new denominator, x plus 6 times x minus 2 times x plus 11? So if I have an x plus 11 in the denominator now, and I didn't have it originally up here, you really got to multiply both the denominator and the numerator by the same thing. So I have to multiply 3x by x plus 11. In other words, what was missing? All right, we've replaced what was missing. We replaced the x plus 11 in the denominator. You also have to do the same thing in the numerator. <coughs> Minus. For the second fraction, the new denominator is going to be the LCD, right? I want to use this. So it's going to be x plus 6 times x minus 2 times x plus 11. And looking at the original fraction I had, I had 5 over x plus 11 uh, times x minus 2. So we know the 5 is going to still be up top. Now for the denominator, i got x plus 11 times x minus 2. Well, down here I have x plus 11 times x minus 2, but then I have multiplied by an x plus 6. So if I multiply the denominator by x plus 6, I also have to do the same thing to the numerator. So whatever you added into the denominator here, you got to also uh, put into the numerator. So you multiply by an x plus 6, you got to do the same thing up top. Multiply by x plus 6. And now we'll continue to evaluate this. What I really want to do is I want to distribute through the numerators here. So 3x is going to distribute to the x and to the 11. And for the second piece here, I've got minus 5x plus 6. So uh, I'll do this on the next page. We're going to have just rewriting what I already had. 3x times x plus 11 uh, over x plus 6 times x minus 2 times x plus 11 minus 5 over, or 5 times, x plus 6 over x plus 6 times x minus 2 times x plus 11. Since I have a common denominator, I can actually combine through the top. I'll have 3x times x plus 11 minus 5 times x plus 6. And make sure you've got that minus 5 uh, on the outside of that. The negative goes with the 5, really all over, and now this can all be over the common denominator, x plus 6 times x minus 2 
times x plus 11. Now be very careful here. You don't want to make a mistake. You can't cancel anything at this step. What you really want to do is distribute through like we talked about a minute ago. So we're going to have 3x times x gives us a 3x squared. A 3x times a positive 11 makes us plus 33x. And then we want to distribute through the second uh, second term here. It's a negative 5. So it's a negative 5 can distribute through. Make sure you take the sign with it. So it's a negative 5x. And a negative 5 times a positive 6 makes that negative 30. This whole thing is over x plus 6 times x minus 2 times x plus 11. All right, now once we've done that, we want to combine like terms in the numerator. So I'm going to have 3x squared, then a plus 33x minus 5x will give us a minus, or a plus, I should say, a plus 28x. And then we have minus 30. All over x plus 6 times x minus 2 times x plus 11. All right, once we're there, uh, 3x squared plus 28x minus 30 doesn't factor nicely, so you really can't do anything else with it, so we're just going to leave our answer in that form. If this numerator had factored, then we would factor it out and cancel if possible. All right, here are a couple for you to try on your own.